Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Geo here, and finally we're going to be taking a look at Makoto Shinkai's 2019 Smash worldwide hit, Weathering With You. Welcome back to the channel guys, and yeah, if you're new to A Week in Geekdom, we rarely do spoilers, so do not worry, I just want to tell you what I thought of the film, pros and cons, and why I do recommend it, or don't, you'll have to watch to find out. Right out of the gate, I have to be completely honest with all of you guys. I freaking loved this movie. It is a masterclass in animation, and if you're a fan of the genre, this is a film that you cannot miss. It is gorgeous in every sense of the word. Regardless of the story, which I'll talk in a bit, this is a beautifully crafted film that is just graceful in its execution from character models to scenery to backdrops to character designs to the actual animation and the movement everything is so clean precise and gorgeous to look at and just really reminds you why you love animation as a genre as a whole and why these anime films are just freaking gorgeous man it looks so breathtaking I, I cannot wait for a blu-ray release a home meter release so i can watch it uh many times over because it it is seriously impressive looking stuff like uh a trash can being knocked over or a cat trying to pick up a, a food item and not being able to so it crumbles and you see the crumbs and as the cat is trying to eat this snack things like our main character looking at his iphone uh which by the way i think this is the proper way to do a, a product advertisement in a film because uh, usually with films that try and do the product placement thing, it, it sucks. But with this, it naturally just blends with the story. It's a contemporary look at, uh, even though the dates are a little bit off, it's a contemporary look at our current society, if you will. Even though it's set in Tokyo, yeah, these characters are using uh, Apple products and uh, they're searching on Yahoo stuff like that which really makes it uh, an immersive experience that makes you a part of the film it's not intrusive it doesn't make you go oh well that's shoehorned in that looks a little bit weird uh, I think uh, that's the proper way to do it so like I was saying a simple act of a character picking up his phone in this case you know an iPhone and looking online for uh, web responses and you see the response carried on by an emoji and it flows really well it's the type of conversation that we would be having uh, in real life the city of Tokyo just very rarely do you have animators that are able to capture the essence of a city because you can draw it but it can feel empty it can feel like like you know you're watching a drawn city landscape with a movie like this and what Shinkai is able to pull off with his animation staff of course which <laughs> I don't know every single name so you you gotta excuse me on that one uh, you know um, and the uh, comix wave films which uh, produced the uh, the film make an immersive experience like I said before and it, and you feel like you're a part of the landscape you're a part of the city all the characters uh, they don't look generic everybody looks special there's a distinctiveness to everything <laughs> uh, when you see characters that even though they're like and, and I'm I don't, I don't, I'm not saying the characters are ugly but when you have characters that are not as good looking as the main cast they still look gorgeous on camera you're gonna fall in love with the story and the wonderful characters and even though it, some people might complain that the story it follows the formula set by your name I'm okay with that. Yes, it does follow the character beats somewhat, and um, the overall plot of the film has a very similar structure. 
but it's still a really good structure to follow. You have these basically star-crossed lovers intertwined in this story about urban legends and Shintoism and religion and it, it sort of just blends into a contemporary retelling of, uh, of a mythological or religious story or setting and these characteristics are put in a modern twist. I do think that future generations that grew up on these Shinkai films, I think later down the road they might look back really fondly about the greatness of these films and consider them modern classics, or, or rather we consider them modern classics, they might consider it like true works of art in the animation realm. So yeah, I. I genuinely loved that aspect of the film that it, it sort of reminded me and some of you might not see the parallels but I it sort of reminded me of uh, M. Night Shyamalan's uh, Lady in the Water and how he takes the concept of fairy tales and molds it into an original fairy tale of his own yeah I know the movie is not beloved I'm I'm a fan of it, but I know it's it it has a ton of problems. But follow me on that. Just the concept of taking um, folklore and pre-established things from religion and urban legends and crafting a story that can relate to a younger audience is pretty awesome if you ask me. But I've talked enough about the technical achievement, you're probably wondering what the heck is Weathering With You about? Well, we follow high schooler Hodaka Morishima as he runs away from his island home and is heading to Tokyo. When he arrives, he is hit by this freak rainstorm uh, in Tokyo Bay. He's riding this ferry, uh, ferry boat, and he is saved from uh, nearly drowning uh, or falling off the ferry boat by the character of Keisuke Suga. Keisuke, of course, is one of the central characters. He is the facilitator for this story to happen because as the first act progresses, Hodaka is given a business card by him and they move on to their separate ways. Hodaka instead is looking for a job in Tokyo while essentially being a runaway, he's a teenager. So as he is struggling to find work, he happens to come across our second lead character, Hina Amano, who is working at a fast food restaurant. And you know, he is uh, uh, he is desperate and sad and angry that he can't find work. So she takes pity and gives him some uh, free food therefore setting a chain reaction to the rest of the story and how these two characters are essentially bound by fate from here on out. Uh, not being able to find work, Suga gives him an opportunity to work at his small publishing company where they sort of investigate urban legends and, um, and how they relate to the city. Now, one of the main plot points of the city, of the story, I should say, sorry, is uh, the constant rainfall and how it has affected the city. It's been days on end. I think the story said in August, and so it's supposed to be summer and super hot, but instead it's extremely cloudy and raining nonstop. And that's sort of an on the nose critique on climate change which I thought was really cool that you have an anime romance film tackling not only the romantic stuff but also on the issue of climate change and how it affects a city and a population uh, obviously there's a metaphor with the rain and the sun and how weather itself is, um, affects human emotion and the human psychology and our moods and all that stuff so I thought that was really cool I really enjoyed that aspect of the film I can't go too much into spoilers but just know that as they are investigating the urban legends they encounter the psychic and she tells them of the legend of a, um, a weather maiden or a sunshine girl and that has to do with the character of Hina 
and I'll just leave it at that. What soon follows is a very fantastic, uplifting coming-of-age story and first love and, um, like I said, star-crossed lovers with a theme of supernatural stuff, but also social commentary and the way uh, citizens behave in modern times and their relation with nature and all that stuff. So. I think, in essence, it is a worthwhile film and perfectly complements the narrative structure that Shinkai is doing with this film, especially with uh, uh, your name as a starting point. And it never, it feels fresh, partially, of course, because of the beautiful animation, but even though it follows a similar structure to this previous film, it feels fresh with two characters that are of a different age range and their personalities are different from the leads uh, of the previous film. And yeah, some of the uh, plot points of the film and the implications of what happened in the end really do need uh, more time to be explained because <laughs> you're just left hanging like, okay, you just dropped that massive bomb of information of uh, the status quo and you don't really go about uh, you don't really do a good job of explaining the implications uh, you just leave it at like a backdrop piece which uh, I get it you only have a finite time to tell your story and your focus is on these two characters because at the end of the day just like in real life we sort of mute ourselves to the grander scheme of things and how the world uh, reacts and society and how they do their thing and you're just focused on the people that you know the people that you love you, you don't know the th thousands and hundreds of people out there you just know uh, those close to you so in, in that regard, I didn't mind the loose plot threads that a lot of people uh, were uh, typing online and complaining about. Or I shouldn't say complain, more like criticizing. But overall, a fantastically well-written uh, romantic fantasy film from a uh, master craftsman, I guess, at work telling these lovely tales that really will uh, cheer you up and remind you about the power of youth and love and all its wonderful splendor. So if you do get a chance to watch it in theaters, go ahead and do. You're going to have a fun time. Weathering with you is excellent. I don't really rate my movie uh, reviews. That sounded weird. I don't really do reviews like I don't give it a passing grade or none of that stuff or a numerical thing. I just tell you what I liked about it. That's it. I think it's great. You should go see it. You're going to have a fun time. Weathering With You is a fantastic film. Have you seen it? Let me know in the comment section down below. I probably did a horrible job, but uh, I just wanted to get my thoughts across. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Uh, Weathering With You, fantastic. Let me know if you've seen it down below. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. I've got to go. I've got another movie review coming after this video, so hopefully you tune in for that as well. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next video.